Hello! In this video, we will be making our... we will be rendering HTML. So, a reminder, I will be committing uh, the changes to github.com slash the Adam After each tutorial, I'll be committing changes to 1pg demo. The link should be in the description for each video, so go with with dashboard and dashboard, this is the current code that we have here. Well, that's just a reminder, let's get started. So, we left off with this boilerplate code, it kind of works. Sometimes when AdamJR does not change the token, uh, this happens. What do we do? What is app? So, if we look at app, we have a bunch of methods. So, we have use, I'll list the useful ones, set, get, and then a few others, which we'll use some of them. But most importantly, we type express.router. This contains get and use. This is a router. Now, we want to get the get.get, .get, but we can also do that on app, as app also has this function here. So what does app.get mean? Wow, what is get? So what is get? Here's just a low quality image. So, get retrieve items from a resource. So when I type google.com, that is a get request to the google.com, to google.com, whatever web server that's located on. Now post is done when you're creating a new account. So if you create a new Google account, that will post. And a few others, but we'll use one or two of them. So forms, yeah, so signing in. But this is the important one, the get request. That's the one we'll be using. That is the thing that happens. You can't type these in, you can't type these or use these requests via the URL bar here. So I can't, this is only a get request, basically. So that's all we need to know. So app.get, we have a server. I need to start MongoD, hold on. Remember to start the database and then refresh. Okay, so if I get a localhost 3000, cannot get slash, what does that mean? Well, it means we have no routes defined. It's just a plain, extremely basic web server. So we add, this is a function, app.get. So we define the name of the route with a string. Now we we don't just type nothing here. We type slash because localhost slash that is the root route. That is the root route that we're currently connected to. We don't even need the slash. So if I if I type app.get slash and now this takes a request which we call rec and res as a callback. Now, let's go in the rec, the rec object, and we do that. So, request, let's see. So, request has some useful um, properties here. We'll use some of them in this, for this course, I guess. So, and then response, the request is me connecting to localhost, that is the request. And the response is what the server responds with. So res respond with and send um, hi. And then refresh and then F5 again. Hi. That is the root route. Another thing we can do is to remove the root route and type app.get test now. This is just a demonstration. If we go to test slash test, we need the slash if there's if it's not just plain, if it's not just the root route itself. And then we get this. If we go to test. That is cool. That is our first route. Now, if we look at if we make that the root route again, cool. So let's go to slash and then refresh. 
So if we go and look, if we go to here, I'm, I'm res dot sending nothing right now. So we just get an empty response. So if we res dot send hi instead of blank, then we get hi just as a response. Control Shift I. If we go to elements, this inspect elements. So it's rendered within the body. That is, this is very basic, half working HTML. So we can, what we can do is we can actually render HTML here. So let me demonstrate that. If I want to make a H1, what is a H1? A heading, heading, heading one. I'm just going to call it. Save. Okay. Now refresh. Heading one. So if we press Control Shift C, we get H1 rendered as HTML and we get the styles associated with that. So we can actually style it from within here. So if we type color equals red, this is not recommended by the way, as it does not follow separations of concerns, but we're just demonstrating it. And now we press F5, it's gonna be red because we defined our element style here. And a style on an element overwrites everything here because of specificity. Specificity. So there we go. Cool. And in the next video, I'll show you a better way on rendering files like this.